I've seen horrors, horrors that you've seen, but you've no right to call me a murderer. You've a right to kill me. You have a right to do that. But you do not have a right to judge me. Words cannot explain to people what is necessary that have not seen horror. Horror as a face. Horror and moral terror are our friends. And if they are not our friends, they are our enemies. To be feared, they are truly our enemies. I remember when I was in Special Forces, it seems so. Uh, thousand years ago. And we left camp after we'd inoculated all the children for polio. And this old man came running, crying. I couldn't see. So we went back. And they had come. And they had hacked off every inoculated arm and so there was this, this little pile, this little pile of little arms. I didn't know what to do. I... 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 I, I remember sobbing like some grandfather. I, I, I wanted to pull my teeth out. I didn't know what to do. And then it hit me like, like a bullet, like a, like a diamond. It pierced my forehead. The genius of it. The genius. The will to do that. The pure And then I knew they were better than we. Because these men knew that they were not monsters. They were trained cadre. They were fathers. They had children. They were filled with love. But they were able to put that aside and do that. If I had dozens of these men, this war over very quickly because you need men that are moral but can switch off and just go to the primordial instincts and kill without passion, without feeling, without judgment, without judgment.